from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lipakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of a country's diversity. Let's begin the show by taking you to the Bhubaneswar city of Odisha, which is also known as the Temple City of India. Home to some of the most magnificent temples like the Lingaraj Temple and the Rajarani Temple, the city houses some of the most magnificent structures in Hinduism. Recently, the famous Kapileshwar Temple in Odisha's Bhubaneswar city is to be added to protected monuments list of the Archaeological Survey of India. Take a look. This is the magnificent Kapileshwar Temple, which is situated in the Bhubaneswar city of Odisha. It is situated in the Kapil Prasad area, just one kilometer away from the 11th century old Lingraj Temple of Bhubaneswar. One of the oldest still existing temples in the state, it is a significant place of worship for Hindus in India. The temple is being added to the protected monuments list of the Archaeological Survey of India for its preservation and better upkeeping. एक कमर क्षेत्र में इस मंदिर का बहुत खासियत है और सर्व पुरातन मंदिर है आप ये जो मंदिर दिखाई देता है फिफ्थ सेंचुरी का मंदिर है कपड़े इंद्र देव ये जो मंदिर आप दिखाई देता है इसका रिनोवेशन किया है लेकिन हमारा ठाकुर जी जो कपड़े मुनि एक कपड़े नाथ और इसका और एक नाम है कपड़े मणि ये चार युग का ठाकुर है हमारे ठाकुर जी का पहला पूजक है कपिल मुनि जो संख्य दर्शन का प्रणेता और ब्रह्मा जी का मानस संतान The 5th century old temple was renovated by Gajapati Kapilendra Dev in the 14th century. The temple is well known for its exquisite carvings and gorgeous architecture which are the specialities of all centuries old Indian temples. The temple's presiding deity is Lord Kapileshwar, a form of the Hindu god Shiva which is placed at inside the temple premises in the form of Shivaling. The temple priests and local residents expressed their happiness over the decision and urged the authorities to declare Khandigiri and Udaygiri caves as world heritage sites. Our hope, our jo adarniya sansad Lafrajita Sadangi, isko pas ham ge ek saal pehle aur isko hamne sab history bataya. वो इतना प्लीज हो गया कि वो मोदी जी को खुद कहा और सेंटर का जो संस्कृति मिनिस्टर है इसके पास गया और वो तुरंत पदक्षेप लिए दो तीन बार वो मैडम हमारे यहाँ आए दर्शन जी के लिए वो इतना प्रसन्न हो गया ठाकुर जी के पास वो हमको मैडम हमको वार्ड दे कि एक साल के अंदर अंदर मैं इसको एस में अंतर्भुक्त करूँगा The Kapileshwar Temple is a fine example of Kalinga style of architecture, which is known for its elegance and simplicity. It is a well-known tourist destination that attracts visitors and devotees from across India and the world. The dominant feature of the temple is the 60 feet high temple and its adjacent pond surrounded by stone steps. The temple is a satellite of the main temple in Bhubaneswar, the Lingraj Temple. Hajaro Mandir and this Mandir are different because this is the most important temple in Bhubaneswar. The Mandir is the most important temple in Bhubaneswar. The Lingraj Mandir is also the most important temple in Bhubaneswar. The Mandir is the most important temple in Bhubaneswar. The Mandir is the most important temple in Bhubaneswar. I told you that the Kapilendra Dev उससे पहले मंदिर था अभी आप लोग खुश हैं जी 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 अपराजिता सड़िंग मैडम जो जो किया ये स्टेट गवर्नमेंट को उनके पास लेके गए उसमें हम खुश हैं 
जो मंदिर का ये डेवलप होगा According to legend this is the birthplace of sage Kapila who was considered as the father of Sankhya philosophy He is also considered as the brainchild of Brahma and an incarnation of Lord Shiva himself The temple serves as a reminder of the region's rich history as well as the profound religious and cultural roots of the people of Orissa and therefore it becomes necessary to work towards conservation and preservation of ancient monument like these Ingrained with the values of religious syncretism, India is known for its diverse culture and spellbinding traditions throughout the whole world. It has always been the land of Sufi saints who have not only played a key role in combining various religions, but also have emphasized an inward search for God and inherent generosity in humans. So today we take you to the shrine of Sufi saint Hazrat Tawakkul Mastan Shah in Bengaluru city of Karnataka which has served as a pilgrimage site for people coming from different religious and ethnic backgrounds across the country take a look The shrine of Hazrat Tawakkul Mastan Shah is one of the most revered pilgrimage centers in Bengaluru Situated in a bustling city known to be the Silicon Valley of India The shrine attracts devotees coming from diverse religious backgrounds and marks a rich history going back over 200 years. Hundreds of devotees comprising men, women, elderly and children come here to offer special prayers at the shrine. Sabhi ek hi hai. Manushya janma ek hi hai. Isliye Bhagwan bhi ek hi hai. Wo aad mein alag alag kiya hai. Sabhi ek hi hai. इसलिए हम हिंदू है इसलिए एक हफ्ता को एक बार मस्जिद को आता हूँ मैं बहुत साल से आता हूँ अभी नया नए पुराना कम से कम एक दस साल से आता हूँ आना पड़ेगा एक हफ्ता को एक बार आना पड़ेगा लेकिन एक बार आने को कुछ नहीं होता है आना पड़ेगा एक बार को एक हफ्ता को एक महीने को इधर आना अल्लाह कोई नहीं अल्लाह भी शिवा है शिवा ही एक भी है अल्लाह भी एक ही है सभी इसलिए मैं इधर आता हूँ बहुत 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 साल से आता हूँ According to his followers, Tawakkal Mastan Wali was a Sufi saint from the Suhar Wardia order of the 17th century. The Dargah holds great significance as it welcomes people of all faiths to seek oneness with God and plays a distinctive role in narrowing the boundaries of religions and boosting secularism in the country. On Tuesdays and Fridays the shrine is visited by an enormous numbers of pilgrims irrespective of faith and religion people visit the dargah to get the blessings of the legendary saint either hindu muslim sikh sai sab log aate hain sabko baba ki dua se sab kuch theek hota hai jo bhi unki tabiyat rehne se kuch bhi ghar ka pareshani ya kaam ka pareshani ya health issues rehne se सब इधर आके बाबा के पास दुआ करके जाते हैं जड़ा जला के जाते हैं बाबा से मन्नत भी मांग के जाते हैं आने के बाद जैसा आते हैं आते हैं एक परेशानी से जाते हैं परेशानी हल होने के बाद जाते हैं इधर से सब धर्म एक ही है सब लोग हम लोग हिंदुस्तान में हैं तो हिंदू और मुस्लिम भाईचारे से मिलके के इधर पे सब लोग साथ जा रहे हैं Bringing together all faiths under one roof and promoting the message of love and peace, the dargah serves as a perfect representation of the amity and brotherhood that prevails across the country. And now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood personalities, Indian singers and comedians turned their bling on as they walked the ramp for a social cause dedicated to the rights of girl children and their empowerment in the showbiz hub of Mumbai. The fashion show was organized by the Beti Foundation, a civil society organization whose work aligns with the government's Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao initiative. It's quite a blingy event, but यू नो लेकिन जो उसका रूट कॉज है वो बहुत ज़्यादा प्योर और बहुत ज़्यादा यू नो स्पेशल है आई ऑल्सो हैव अ डॉटर दिस एन जी ओ इज कॉल्ड बेटी रन बाय अनुरंजन एंड यू नो शी हैज़ टू डॉटर्स आई थिंक आई थिंक डॉटर्स आर वेरी स्पेशल 
अगर देखा जाए तो आई मीन वट एवर बेटर थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग इन माई लाइफ इट इज ओनली साइड टू हैपन आफ्टर आई हैड अ डॉटर Indian comedians Kapil Sharma and Bharti Singh were seen walking the ramp with their children. The Beti Fashion Show is an annual event hosted to raise funds for increased women's leadership and participation in all sectors of society. Women in India's Western Rajkot city celebrated International Mothers Day in a unique fashion as they participated in a walkathon or walking marathon while wearing sarees. At least 500 women wore bandhani and patola sarees which are traditional Indian prints and participated in the event which was a joint effort by Gujarat police and several event organizers. and all the women in the morning were dressed up and just to celebrate motherhood and uh, the best thing about this was a huge strength of women empowerment was seen and which created a great impact the participants also showcased a dance performance with the aim to promote inclusivity of specially able children mothers day is celebrated around the world on the second sunday of may Indian actors Vicky Kaushal and Sara Ali Khan launched the trailer of their upcoming comedy drama film Zara Hatke Zara Bachke in India's Mumbai city. Kaushal and Khan were accompanied by the producer of the film Dinesh Vijan at the event where they danced to drum beats and interacted with media persons. I think that one word mere hisab se which made me say a yes to this film. Correct. In the first place was ये फिल्म सह परिवार है ये मुझे परिवार की याद दिलाती है एंड आई वांट टू एक्सपीरियंस दिस फिल्म विद अ परिवार हमने शूट की है विद द मैडॉक परिवार एंड विद अ वंडरफुल कोस्टार्स जो हम एक परिवार ही बन गए थे डायरेक्टेड बाय लक्ष्मण उटेकर द स्टोरी ऑफ द फिल्म रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड अ कपल हु लिव्स इन अ जॉइंट फैमिली फाइल अ डिवोर्स एंड सीरीज ऑफ इवेंट्स दैट फॉलो द फिल्म विल रिलीज इन थिएटर्स ऑन जून 2 Well Sufism has entrenched itself at the center of cultural and spiritual life in India. Dargahs of Sufi saints in almost every part of the country are the rich reservoirs of this tradition. During the Urs commemoration at the dargahs, a large number of people from various religions unite to pray for peace and harmony. This was recently witnessed at the dargah of Mia Yaqub Sahib in Rajouri district of Jammu and Kashmir where people of all faiths came together to observe the Urs of the holy saint. Thousands of devotees throng the picturesque Rajouri district of Jammu and Kashmir to visit the shrine of Mia Yaqub Sahib. Cutting across religious lines, devotees offer their prayers to the saint who is believed to have lit the path of virtue, wisdom and peace for his fellow beings and followers. They also take part in salutations, supplications, sermons and night long prayers where sufi saint scholars and imams throw light on the life religious service teachings and spiritual strength of the saint who devoted his entire life to serve humanity sab baatein hain sare hindu muslim sab baatein hain jo bhi kisi ko manat hoti hai sab log aate hain sar yahan se aur mana hua hai baaji hai ye mian yaqub sahab iska naam hai और जो जम्मू से रजौरी से दिल्ली से पठानकोट से अमृतसर से हर जगह के लोग यहाँ पर आते हैं और जात करने के लिए आते हैं जो भी किसी को कोई मन्नत हो दरगाह होल्ड्स ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस एज इट वेलकम्स पीपल ऑफ ऑल फेथ्स टू सीक वननेस विद गॉड एंड प्ले अ डिस्टिंगटिव रोल इन नैरोइंग द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ रिलीजन्स एंड बूस्टिंग सेक्युलरिज्म इन द कंट्री No matter which caste or community one belongs to everyone sits beside each other and offer prayers to the saint Jisme deed aap bhi dekh hi rahe hain lekin yahan hazaron ki tadad mein har birwar hote hain aur birwar ke alawa bhi aksar beshtar yahan mela jo hai wo 24 ghante laga rehta hai to do teen birwar jiski bhi hazri hui jis jo bhi kisi mushkilat mein hua to wo inshaallah taala zarur yahan se faiz yaab kar gaya hai 
The holy celebration clearly indicates that the lesson of love and compassion that was once propagated by the Sufi saints is still having its roots deeply embedded in the rich culture and traditions of India. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. From sea creatures to mummies and citadels, different shapes of sand sculptures take over a public beach at Egypt's coastal city of Alexandria as artists and students compete in the Sand Sculpture Festival. Thirteen artists and fine art students used Al Saraya public beach as their canvas, creating large sand sculptures to promote tourism and mark the beginning of summer season. لا هو حلو قوي حلو قوي تجربه جديده ومبسوطه يعني ان هي اول هي اول مره اعمل حاجه بالحجم ده بس مش اول مره اعمل على الرمله يعني كنت بعمل في مطروح بس كانت حاجات صغيره بسيطه يعني بس بس هي جميله وبسطت ان انا جيت بصراحه يعني شاركت في الموضوع Using only sand and water the artist faced many difficulties to complete their artworks due to unpredictable weather conditions The first edition of Alexandria Sand Sculpture Festival kicked off and will last for 4 days with the participation of students and professors from Alexandria, Matro and Dimita universities from which 3 winners will be announced. For the past 2 years Jordanian men Ahmed Al Zawara has been collecting discarded items like air conditioners and televisions using them to create artistic installations which he displays outdoor the 36 year old says his project started out as an initiative to collect trash from the sides of the road but he was soon inspired to use these discarded items to create art His creations which include huge monster truck installations sit on an empty plot of land in his hometown of Zarqa where people can enjoy them for free. The artist who owns a car garage said he is very passionate about helping the environment. From the bustling streets of Mumbai and Delhi to the tech towns of Bengaluru and Hyderabad and from the serene shores of the Bay of Bengal to the habitations in hilly Himachal and Kashmir India is pulsing with renewed vitality A new India under a committed Modi government is racing ahead with an unmatched pace of modernization Is India set to reclaim her golden sparrow status Join us as we take a deeper look at the policies and people behind India's rise as a global leader India surpassing China to become the most populous country in the world could be another blessing for the world's fastest growing economy. With a median age of just over 28 years and a working age population of over 900 million, India has the biggest workforce in the world. Even more significant is that this demographic trend will remain more or less the same in the next 15 years. a period that is being anticipated as the most crucial phase for India. India, which is making great strides in all aspects of the economy, is going to benefit immensely from this demographic dividend. India's young, ambitious and innovative pool of talent is already driving her economic growth faster than any major economy in the world. Experts believe that the addition of an even younger workforce will provide further momentum to its economic growth. India is one of the few countries that has consistently excelled as a top economic performer in the last decade. India grew by an impressive 8.7% last financial year. And while the growth speed of major economies like China and the United States, Japan and Germany is set to face major obstructions due to their aging populations. India's broadening consumer base owing to a younger population and a productive workforce is projected to catapult the country to the top of the global economic rankings. 
As per nearly all major projections, India will be the third largest economy in under 10 years. Information technology, the service sector, and agriculture, which have remained India's growth engines in the absence of a manufacturing revolution, will continue to contribute in similar fashion. There are three sectors of the economy, agriculture, manufacturing, and services. Till now, services has been the main sector which has been a major contributor to the GDP of our country. Apart from that, consumption and demand. The consumption and demand, which we have the great Indian demand story, has been leading Indian economy, the growth of Indian economy. On the other side, the Indian manufacturing sector, which is now taking off in a real sense, will be the trump card during this fourth industrial revolution. Observers say India's predominantly young working age population, which is projected to expand even further by 200 million in the next three decades, can and will play an important role in India's manufacturing capacity. One aspect that distinguishes present-day India from India of the previous century is that the young Indian population will not face challenges in accessing basic necessities and will have all the benefits of a well-developed infrastructure they will be in a much better position to seize the opportunities effectively. From ensuring swift poverty alleviation to regular tap water supply in even the most remote of areas, from the nearly complete eradication of open defecation to endeavoring to provide clean fuel to people at the lowest rung of the ladder, the government of India has fulfilled the fundamental necessities to ensure her people a competitive position in the pursuit of becoming the best in the world. many people still below poverty line. So we have to provide them all the services because what we are targeting is inclusive growth. The growth must reach till the last person. According to a jointly compiled report by the United Nations and Oxford University in 2022, which referred to Indian achievements toward poverty alleviation as historic change, as many as 415 million people emerged from multidimensional poverty in a 15-year period beginning in 2005 to 2006. A subsidy on LPG cylinders in rural areas has not just enhanced the quality of life of India's poorest citizens, but is also contributing to the country's sustainability goals and her net zero targets. 110 million rural households in India were receiving tap water by January of 2023, a significant rise since the government launched Mission Jal Jivan in 2019 to provide all Indians with tap water. India will indeed become yeah, number three uh, in terms of the global ranking of GDP yeah, as a country. It will you know, reach there. So, for instance, if you look at certain kinds of uh, uh, infrastructure, yeah, which play important role in people's lives. Uh, so you can talk about, let's say, pipe drinking water. You can talk of, uh, uh, let's say, availability of sanitation facilities, toilets, and so on. Clearly, I mean, the numbers are there. They tell you that our performance has been reasonably good. With fundamental aspects addressed, India has now been able to redistribute her attention. India is now investing in human capital and skill development. Today, India is in a position to harness the potential of her massive population. As per economic observers, a skilled, dynamic workforce can further accelerate the Indian growth velocity and help her achieve the target of a 40 trillion USD economy by 2047. Pioneering efforts in renewable energy usage advancements in space exploration, and India's efforts in infrastructure and other sectors have already established the country as a formidable force to be reckoned with. Appreciation of her business-friendly decisions and policies has manifested itself in the form of rising foreign direct investments. Her pro-people policies have garnered praise and respect of countries the world over. And when it comes to exerting additional effort, the Indian spirit knows no bounds. 
India is well positioned to take a giant leap forward, and there is widespread confidence that this leap will indeed occur sooner than later. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia.com. I'm your host, Lipakshi, and it's goodbye from the entire production team.